Hi, this is Dr. Jessica. Today's topic is going to be nasal allergies in children. We are now officially in spring, so nasal allergies are on the rise. And I wanted to talk about what nasal allergies are, what to look for, and what we as parents can do about it. A common question that comes up is how can I tell the difference between the common cold and nasal allergies? A big difference is that with a cold, which is caused by a viral infection, a kid is not congested and then abruptly becomes congested and those symptoms last for about three to 10 days and then they get better. Whereas allergies may be chronic or longer lasting, they may be seasonal or last all year long. With seasonal allergies, you'll find children that are congested, sneezing, have itchy, watery eyes, They'll generally look uncomfortable for a longer period of time than you would expect with a cold. And nasal allergies come from our immune system responding to what we call allergens in the environment. Examples of allergens include dust, grass, and pollen. Another indicator that your child may have nasal allergies is that kids actually have physical symptoms when they suffer from allergies. So common things that we notice, eye shiners or, or circles under the eyes may be a sign of allergies. And also, we may get a horizontal crease on the top of the nose, which we call the allergic salute, coming from constantly rubbing an itchy nose. Another key point about seasonal allergies is that we rarely see them before the age of two. It takes time for the body to develop allergies. It requires multiple exposures of allergens to actually develop the allergy. A very common question I get, there'll be a child that's in daycare under the age of two, and parents will tell me, I think my kid has allergies because they're constantly having a runny nose. This is much more likely to be what we call daycare syndrome or just back-to-back -back colds causing the constant congestion. So if you think your child has seasonal allergies, what can we as parents do about it? Well, something that I think is really under-discussed is the idea of avoidance or prevention in the first place. We often jump right into medications, but there's a lot we can do just by avoiding whatever allergens bothering us to begin with. Second, I think it's really helpful to have a clean body. So for example, if your child's been playing baseball in the grass and they come back itchy, seemingly allergic, I would have them right away take a shower and a bath and don't forget to have them wash their hair. Thirdly, a clean room goes a long way. So children spend more hours in their bedroom than any other place. So if you can focus on keeping their room clean, it can make a big difference. I find it really helpful to remove stuffed animals, keep the carpets cleaned, get hypoallergenic bedding, and also have a HEPA filter running. Another helpful tip is to use nasal saline. Nasal saline is great. It's not actually a medication, so you can't overdo it. In fact, I recommend doing it multiple times a day. You can make a saline rinse at home using eight ounces of water, a half teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of baking soda, or you can buy it over the counter. I really like a product called Neil Med. It's easy to use. Nasal saline is a great way to clean and irrigate the inside of your nose. You know you're doing it right, and you know that you're going up far enough if you can actually taste the salt water in your mouth. Now, for medications for seasonal allergies, there are actually many options that are available over the counter. Now, for which one to pick, it really depends on the individual symptoms of your child. If your child has nasal congestion, a great place to start is using over-the-counter nasal steroid sprays such as Flonase. You can start with using one spray per nostril once a day. If your child is bothered by itchy eyes, then I recommend using an antihistamine drop such as Olopatadine. One name that I like is over-the-counter Pat-a-day. Pat-a-day, it's easy to remember that you only have to give it once a day. It's in the name. Also, for general allergic symptoms, I would consider using an over-the-counter antihistamine. When they're used in the appropriate doses, they're very safe. Examples include Zyrtec, which is approved for kids six months and over, Allegra, and Claritin, which is approved for kids two years old and over. You can use these medications regularly or just as needed. There are also prescription allergy medications available, so if you feel like your child would benefit from more treatment, be sure and talk to your doctor. And if you have a question you'd like me to cover, please send me an email at askdrjessicamd at gmail.com. Thanks for listening and see you next week. <music>